Hello everyone, this is Maria, the Unexpected Crafter. I am here today just doing some coloring for, uh, this image is from Sasayaki Glitter Stamps and I'm gonna be uh, doing some coloring on it. And I wanted to do a quick video that's actually gonna be in maybe two parts uh, because I won't be able to do all the coloring in this one video. So I'm gonna get started right away. I wanted to try a combination I haven't tried before. I am wanna try um, E23 or E23 YR21 and then YR20 so I'm gonna start with the dark darkest one which is E23 and I'm gonna decide that this is where I want the shading to be sometimes I like to start with the lighter colors but today I just wanted to start with a dark one so of course, he's wearing a cap, so it has a little bit of shading under it. Like that. And then a little bit under here. Then I am going to go with YR21. Let's see how that looks. I tried it a little bit and it looked pretty good, so I just need to work it a little bit, I guess. I kind of like the way it looks, so I'm going to go with it. See how that blends? He's pulling away some of the dark color, but I'm going to go back and add some of that color again. So, Oh, and just in case I am using Nina, which is my preferred car stock for coloring. Nina 80 pound solar smooth. So it took pretty much a lot of that color. So maybe I may want to try, I don't know if I want to try YR23 and see how that looks. So this is kind of be a test. If I don't like it, I'm going to have to reprint this image and do it again. But let's go ahead and put the dark again. See how I like that. And I'm going to use YR23 instead, which is just a little bit darker. Yeah, I think I like that a little better because the other one was just pulling way too much color. So trial and error, of course. So let's see if I like that. Then let's go with the YR21. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, I think that's a little better. So Maybe I want to go with that. Just keep this completely dark or... Let's see, because you can go over it and take some of that dark color away by just going over it. So yeah, I think I like it like that. Yep, I think that looks pretty good. So instead of that, I'm going to go with the lightest color I have. And this area here, because it's under the shoulders, that's going to be, of course, darker. But I'm just mapping it out with my lighter color. And then let's see. There we go. And then let's go with the YR23. So I'm going backwards now. And this one I'm just gonna shade this area under the shoulders, which would be darker. And then here I'm just gonna put a little bit of shading under here. And under here. I'm sorry, I hope I'm not covering. Okay, now let's go with the darkest one, which is E23. And I'm going to make this dark because this is on the area under the shoulders. Ok, 
Okay, and I'm gonna go back to YR23 and just kind of pull that dark color out a bit. I'm just kind of I'm doing this as I go. I'm not sure. I may have to fix some things, but we'll see how it goes. Didn't really plan this coloring, so. All right, and let's go with the lightest, YR21. And let's just fill those gaps. Again, this image is from Sasayaki Glitter Stamps, which I will put a link down below in the description if you want to see where this image, where you can find this super cute image. She, uh, she makes, the artist that makes this image are so cute. She's so talented. Let's see. So, I'm just using my, you know, sometimes with the lighters, lightest of your markers you can fix some mistakes that you make or you can lighten darker areas but you have to be careful that you don't overdo it and then here's the ears i almost forgot the ears trying to hold a marker in a way that you can still see and here the area that's i'm going with the darkest i'm gonna turn it And then the medium's color, which is second dark, uh, lightest. And then just pulling out the dark color a bit. And then finishing up with the lightest, which is YR21. And I, of course I will list the colors down below so that you can see. Okay, and let me go with my colorless blender to this is I can fix this with a darker color but it's really bugging me so I'm gonna get rid of some of that with a colorless blender you can take away color there we go that way I can have and if I want on those areas here I can add just a little bit more dark just to add some more definition and this area is here. So after you have color, you can always go back with your darkest and just kind of add a little more just to add more depth to it. And maybe over here I can add just a little more. And here in the tiny corners of the neck are cute to this one. So there, and then I'll leave it alone because when, uh, if you know about Copic markers, when they're wet, they continue to blend as they dry. So let me just do a little more here, a little more blending there. There we go. Okay, so that's the body of the bear. And uh, let's see if I have, I have a little more time to continue with, uh, the feet so let me see I have to decide what color if I want that pink or I didn't think about what color I wanted to do there so maybe we could do hmm sorry if you heard the noise next door my neighbor is babysitting let's see let's try R11 for the ears and I won't do a whole lot there because that's I guess we'll also do it on the bottom of the feet. I don't really know what color they are for real, but this will be like for a baby card. So I am going to keep it nice and soft. I also have R12 somewhere here. If I can find my R12. There you are. Okay, let's see. 
Let's see, they are not too close together, so I can do a little bit of contrast. Let's see. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. And I'll just do a little thing here, a little thing there, just to add a little bit of contrast, because it drives me crazy just to have one flat color. R12 really carefully because they are so close in color that but I still want them to just a little bit not too much and then I don't know if you can tell the difference but there's a little bit of shading there now for the nose I am not sure so I may come back to that later uh, this is for a baby, so I probably want to go with a soft blue, and I will probably do B00BO2 and BO5. I don't know if you can see here. I'll do those three colors, see how that looks. Hmm. I have girls, so for me to think about boy colors is a little hard, but I guess can't go wrong with blue. Gotta be careful, that little piece there is the bat. I don't wanna color the bat as part of the clothing, which has happened to me before. And then I'm gonna add some shading again. I'm going to try not to add too much. Sometimes I just get carried away with the dark ones. So just a little bit of shading there. I'll just do it on one side. And then go in with the darkest. And like I said, I'm going to try not to get too carried away with the dark color. Just a little bit for contrast. And then I'll go back with the second lightest or darkest there we go. and then with my B00 I'm going to do it from this side so I don't pull too much of the dark color and I'm going to keep it simple I'm not going to get too complicated with this coloring here See those lines there? I'm going to do a different color. I just haven't decided which one. That's why I said this will be a part two video because I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. Then the bat. I guess we could do E53, E51, and E50. I think that would be good. Good combination for that. So we'll start with E53, which is the darkest. So this part here, because it's under his foot, will be the darkest, and then the bottom part here. Let's see, what angle do I want to color this? I oh, will just do... Uh... Then I go with E51 or E51, and I'm going to pull a little bit of this darker one out like that it's keeping it simple you don't have to get complicated all the time which I don't and then this is my lightest E50 or E50 okay. then if I want to just add a little bit more contrast I can just go back with the darkest and just add a little bit of shading there and probably just leave it alone and let it continue blending or maybe just a little bit with the E51 
just a tad bit, very soft, not too hard. Barely touching it. Alrighty, I'm tempted to use red, but I am not sure yet. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to come back and decide what colors I wanna use on the back and the cap and then the colors for the cute little outfit. And I hope you like my coloring and you can leave any comments below. And if you have any questions, please write them below and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thank you, bye-bye.